Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. It's Brenda. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to do Caroline's challenge today. It's the hashtag CCT52 challenge for Caroline's craft tree. And she rolled a five and a two. And I misplaced my sheet, but the five is what you're making. So it the number five is either a tab, a dangle, a paper clip, you know, stuff along that line. The two prompts, one is a hand and a key. All right, so if you're doing this with me, gather up your stuff. I just kind of scribbled it on here. I'm going to make a paper clip today. So hand and key, and then a tab, you can make a tab or a dangle, a paper clip. So, um, yeah, so grab up your stuff and let's have a play. I, this hidden paper clip was inspired by my beautiful friend, Sherry S. She had sent me a beautiful box of, well, of all kinds of goodies and I, Yes, I opened it already because I was so excited and Tracy was here. And so we oohed and awed uh, over everything that was uh, in the box. But I will, I will show you everything, just not right now. So this was inspired by her and she had put some, uh, she had created some hidden paper clips and I just fell in love with them. So let me grab my little cutter here, my big cutter. So the idea is, from what I was able to see, how she made it. So this it's gonna this is gonna be my front, and it'll be going on the page sideways. Or you can do it from the top like we do, or from the bottom. But this one I wanted to have something that was uh, sticking out the side. So I have my hand, and it's uh, one of Tim Holtz's pointy, his fingers pointing. That seems to be his trademark, eh? And there's a key. And then I have my paper clip, and I have just a couple other uh, little bits. And because it's going to be a paper clip, I have this for my number 10. Because we're on week 10 already, we're in double digits. It sure didn't take a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to find the middle or thereabouts. Let me just, and cut. So there's a little slit there because the paper clip is going to go through like this. I didn't get it quite centered, but you know, I'm okay with that. And then this one I already put the hole in, but I did the exact same thing and I just did a slit. So I'll put it there and I wanna make sure it's not upside down. Just because you, if you look, through the, if you peek at it, you'll be able to see the picture. So, and this is, this bigger one is gonna be the bottom, like underneath. And then this one is gonna go here. I'm probably not doing it right, <laughs> but, no, so that's not right, see? I have to figure this out myself. So this is going to go over, over it like this. That looks better. So I didn't need to add the hole into that one, but you know, better safe than sorry doing it. Oh, that looks much better. Okay, let me just bring it out a little more because we want that to show. And then I'm going to cover it with uh, the ribbon. There we go. So I hope you're all doing good. I've been having a really good week. Just, oh, I did take the pin out already. Oh, I was on the ball this time, but then the ink doesn't come out. 
The days are getting so beautiful. The snow is melting so fast. <laughs> it's just awesome how, how wonderful it's going. Spring is in the air. And so Sherry, you can let me know if I did it right or if I missed a step. I just thought yours were so beautiful and I wanted to uh, create that as well. And I'll round off the corners, I think, as well. So there. And I cut the paper to be flush with that, but you still have this prettiness in behind. Just open that up. Whoop. Project doesn't take too long. I didn't ink any of the paper, but I figure that could be done afterwards because it's all, you can get it all, you know. Beautiful. And this is, uh, I can't remember what the paper pad is. It's, it's an old paper pad. I've been trying to finish up all the papers, but it's tea inspired paper. So, and so there we go. And then inside there, and that's where your, it will go onto your paper. But we have more prompts to put on, right? So I just thought, Oh, I meant to pop the key on here before it uh, was put in and glued, but that's okay. We, there's, there's other options, right? Which is good. Don't have to, I can just rethink that. So there's the hand. And I'm just thinking, I mean, this can be glued on. I have my tacky glue. My tacky glue works very well. But before I do that, I'm just gonna turn it over. I want to put, I just wanna add this flower right up here. I didn't wanna cover the butterflies, but I'm gonna pop that on there as well. Just for some added fun on the opposite side of the paper. But that's the beauty of these projects, right? You can uh, use all the prompts. If you don't have something, it's okay. Like if, you, if you're if you doing the dice, if you don't have something, just grab something that's closest to it. It doesn't have to be exact, right? So there we go. And I'm gonna stamp on the number 10 before I add the key. So I just have these little numbers and I'm using them because the other numbers we have are very large and I didn't want to add them onto here. There's a one. And a zero. So there's the number 10, just like that. And for the key, um, just wondering. No, because I'm gonna I'm gonna cover that, so it's probably not a good idea to put it there. But just trying to. Hmm. Sorry trying to decide where to put it and I should just make up my mind and do it. Well, I'm just gonna add it there. It'll just take a minute, of course, to dry. Whoop. <laughs> I'm going to put it right there. There. There we go. I probably should have done that one last, but let's open this. This was just sitting on my desk. I'm just trying to use all the things that are on my desk. So get all that cleaned off. 
just make projects. There we go. Oh, sorry, my so. Let me just see, try to figure out what she did with this so that you don't see the paper clip. Oh, isn't that fun? It's very long, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue up inside there, just gonna there we go. Grab my scissors and I can cut it off. And so there. We have our key, we have our hand. I made a paper clip. You can still see a little bit of it, but you know, it's okay. The rest of it is hidden. So let me grab my book. There we go. Seven, eight, Wherever the ninth one is, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's in a pocket, that's right. So then this can go right on the edge of a paper. Let me just, oh, that's a thick piece. So I will put it here just to show you. There we go. And there we are. How pretty, right? And then eventually something can get tucked underneath. And then there's the other side. Like how beautiful. I just love that. That's so pretty together like that. So there we go. That's our week 10. Quick, easy, you know, so much fun and a great way to use up what we have. Right, so we made a altered paper clip, key, hand, and then we just added our little extras, the number and the ribbon and the flower. All right, there we go. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Questions, comments, please leave them below. I'll make sure Caroline's uh, information is in the description box. I always have her YouTube channel in at the bottom of the description box because she is someone who inspires me and uh, yeah so have a fabulous day god bless take care and we'll see you next time bye for now